What's going on everyone and welcome to another video on the Foxtag YouTube channel. Foxtag is a channel which has been providing you with tutorials for literally years now and the topic for today is how do you move iPad photos to some kind of external hard drive. So for example I have this one right here is the Samsung T5 SSD and let's say I want to put some photos from the iPad right over to this hard drive. At first, naturally what I have to do is to figure out the connection. I talk deeply about it on how many adapters you can use and how stuff works, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna use the double-sided USB-C cable, which I'm gonna to connect to the side of my iPad Pro. This one is also equipped with USB-C, so that's easily doable. Now, since I have it connected, nothing really shows up or no information or some kind of notification pops up, what I have to do is to locate at the files app on my iPad, open it up like this, and you can see here are all of the locations. In case you don't find it, just tap on locations like this, and I have the iCloud drive, I have Dropbox, these are mostly like the clouds, so iCloud, uh, all of that, but you also have the on my iPad location as well as backups, and backups is basically the name of this SSD drive, so in case you connect it with something else, you're going to see the name of your drive right here, so go ahead and tap on it that. Now, you have successfully connected this. Now, how do you move photos over to your uh, SSD drive from the iPad? Now, it depends where the photos are located, because you may want to bring them over from the Photos app, or you already have them saved inside of the Files app. So it's up to you to decide where you actually have them, or where you want to, or how exactly you want to bring them over. Now, let me just begin with the first option. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Now, let's say you already have them saved on your iPad in the Files app. So if I go to my uh, on my iPad section, you can see I have like four images. You have some things going on in here. Let's say I want to move these four images to my backup drives. So in this case, all I have to do is to tap on select, select all of them like this. And I have the options to duplicate them, to delete them, to do more. But let's say I'm just going to click on more. And I'm going to copy four items. So tap on copy four items. I'm going to bring over, go to the backups again. Tap in here, hold down on it, on it, and I can paste the four images right here. So after this is done, you can see I have now four images pasted inside of the backups SSD. So I su successfully moved over these um, four videos or photos, whatever it is to my external SSD drive. So that's an option as well. I'm gonna, for example, right, uh, remove them right now so I can show it to you once again. So tap on the delete. The other option, since you still have them inside of the Files app, what you can do is to drag and drop it. So you can, for example, grab it like this, click on multiple different things to make it go. So you have like a selection of four different things. Keep the finger on the screen still, go to the backups, and simply lift your finger right here. You can see drag and drop works very well. You can use it that way as well. It's even more practical in, in my opinion than just clicking on copy and paste. It's up to you. So you can also move it that way. Okay, but let's say you want to bring some photos from the Photos app right to this external SSD. So let's open up the photos. You can see a bunch of different stuff is going on. And again, you have more options on how you can do it in here as well. But what I would recommend you to do is to use a split screen multitasking. So I'm going to swipe up to get to the dock, grab the Files app like this, and create a split screen multitasking situation. And as you can see, I have to make sure that the location is correctly set to my SSD. So backups is the place. And and what I can do right now is again do the very same drag and drop gesture. So I'm gonna grab this one like this, click on multiple different ones which I want to copy and paste and simply move them over like this. After it's done, you can see that uh, the items are gonna be imported. It includes videos as well. I probably clicked on one video, I guess. I'm not sure about that. So it may take a little bit longer. It depends on the file size, but I'm basically importing all of the photos as I as I like. So yeah, it was just a random thing. I just selected the random photos. So yeah, it's up to you to decide which photos you want to move over and stuff. You can select even all of the photos. It's going to take a while, of course, 
but you could move them as easily. However, if you want to, you can also just move uh, these photos or save them inside of the files app in case you like it better that way. So if I, for example, tap on this photo, I can easily just save it as when I click on share. When I click on share, I have multiple options. So I can uh, copy them to or add them to a different album or I can save it to files. So I can save it to files like this you can see I can put them on my iPad, but I can also save them right to the backups. So I have the option to literally put it there, save it like this. You can see that it is already there because I already moved it. So let's keep both and it's gonna appear right there. So I have the option to save it right like to the external hard drive directly from the photos. I don't even have to move it. I don't have to use split screen multitasking. So there are plenty of options on how you can do it. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found this useful and informative. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did, but definitely subscribe down below to the Fox Tech so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace out until then.